Hello, DB here, Walla Walla, Washington. Hey, I've got a 1983 inch metric Monarch 10 double E lathe that I'm ready to sell. And the reason is, is I just don't use it. It sits for months at a time and uh, it uh, really needs to find a home where someone can put it to use to help their business or build a space shuttle or something in their own garage. This is just an excellent machine. It's in excellent condition. It's totally unmolested. And it's, uh, that's the original paint on it. Um, the uh, paint on these... Uh, uh, on these uh, Monarch stranded shears is not as durable as like on a hard inch. And so it, it's kind of brittle and it flakes off. And uh, I just thought it would be best to leave the thing totally original. And that's exactly what this is. It's just a totally original machine holding excellent tolerances. Now, as far, far as tolerances go, I kind of compared this thing to a musical instrument. And I did some demonstrations. And uh, by leaning on the tailstock and clamping it, I managed to change uh, the taper on a workpiece uh, 200 millionths of an inch. So you have to make this machine perform. And if you're into that niche where you want to do that, this is the instrument to do it on. I can't think of anything uh, that's holding this machine back from doing excellent work. Now, this is a 1983, and this is the last vacuum tube drive. And uh, the vacuum tube drives <clears throat> on these last years are very, very reliable and easy to work on. The factory has parts for these. You can you can uh, keep this going for the rest of your life. There's no problem with that. Um, it just works flawlessly. Now, I want to uh, point to uh, a bunch of videos I did. Now, you go to uh, my homepage, click on the icon, and uh, you can click on About and uh, email me. Or you can click on playlist, and I have a bunch of uh, videos um, using this over the last two years. And uh, it just, you know, uh, one of the things about this machine, it, it's like a race car. And uh, you really, you kind of have to take a lot different approach to it. And uh, you got to warm it up and you got to take extra care of it, you know. And I've taken the best possible care of this thing um, over the last 20 years that I've had it. And I don't think, I can't tell that I put any appreciable wear on it just because I've been so careful with it. Keeping it covered. Uh, absolutely cleaning everything before anything moves on this machine. I just, I, I just don't, uh, I, it, it need, it's wearing me out. It's just wearing me out. <laughs> no, it just needs uh, uh, to go somewhere where somebody's going to put it to use because it sits for so long, months at a time. It takes a long time to warm it up and stuff like that. And I need a machine that I can make parts on and uh, quickly and stuff like that. More than, um, than this. You know, I'm retired. So I don't have as much going on. But that doesn't mean I'm going to stop on the Monarch 10 E. I still have the old motor generator one to rebuild. Then I'll get another one in here of the next uh, early vacuum tube drive to just kind of keep going on the Monarch thing. Okay, well, I'll call this good, uh, this video good, and uh, you guys have a good evening.